which Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist was the best? We have Yugi, which kind of the whole series named at him, so better be the best, against Yuma, you know, kind of stealing the first two letters of the weird name, kind of weird, but we'll see how it goes. We got Dark Magicians versus Utopia. I mean, they're, except for Jaden, they all kind of like go off of the like the U at the start of the name. Oh yeah, isn't there like a Yusei or something in there somewhere? Yeah, Yusei, Yuma, Yuga. Um, I forgot what the guy from like the Link one was, but basically it seemed like after Jaden, they started thinking going like, you know, when we start spiritually naming them after the first guy, but like then they point out, what about Jaden? <laughs> um, <laughs> they tried to do some original. They just didn't love it at the end of the day. Well, he uh, had the last thing Yuki. At least. Of course he did. Jayden of Yuki. course. <laughs> oh, hey. All right. Well, I did not have much to start off with. No Dark Magician in hand. Really? I did have Salvation, though, so I can't cry too much. Well, you already know what Change Tactics does. <laughs> oh, yeah. As soon as you get moving, you get drawn. Unfortunately, I may be in the same position as you. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no. I'm not lying. <laughs> yes, um, we are the protagonists. We totally never mess up. Unless it's scripted. That, that's why we're messing up now. It's scripted. Okay, so, actually, I think I'm able to do this. Okay. I don't know. Okay, it, it does count. Okay. Doing that, I can special summon my arm sage. Very good. Uh, what does this effect do? If an XYZ is on the field, special summon... Da, 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 da. Um, once per turn, you can send one other card from your hand or field. Add one Z. Okay, basically, discard one, get a new card. All right. Get rid of my Shining Hope Road. I can add a new card to my hand as long as it fits it. They, I can now search out Z. They finally fixed it. I can search Z change tactics. Oh, nice. Change tactics is now searchable. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna flip this up. Um, don't have a Magician in play right now, necessarily. But that does let me use a Magician of Dark Illusion from hand, so I can have something on the field. Does that let you now negate? Because if, if I recall, that card gets names changed to Dark Magician, isn't it? It does. Oh, I also have Chronicle Magician, so why not? And you get to double his attack points. Woo, yeah! Guess I should have put him in attack mode. Oh well. Just get stuff out while we can. Yeah. Alright. Okay. I play my Zexo construction by revealing a Zexo Force. Yep, yep, I yep. can replace it with a different card. Um uh, I think I'm going to add. Hmm. You know, I probably should have held on to this card actually thinking about it because. <laughs> It's because I thought I could bring out like a better like ZW weapon card, but thinking about it, I could get them by just ranking up. So, hmm. hindsight, I should have just waited to do these so I could have made sure to have them on my turn. But oh well. Yeah, live and learn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bring out the Utopia. Alright. You already know change tactics effect. Uh huh. Huh. Well, I can use combination, but it's not like a renewable combination if I don't have Dark Magician yet. Yeah, so if you don't use it on the right time... Well, no, it's just a, it's not about timing. It's just I only get one shot. And then I have to wait and wait and wait. So we're just going to do this in case things go my way. All right. Then let's go up to the good old... Utopia Ray. Yep, yep. Of course, that goes off, allowing me to draw an extra card. Yep. I really need to just take out the Shining Draw. I thought it was going to be useful, but then I keep drawing it using Change Tactics. It's one of those cards that can only be activated if I draw them during my normal draw phase. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I got one of those in the deck, too. You know him. Do you love him, though? Hmm, I love that he can be utilized. <laughs> He's come in handy a few times. Yeah. I mean, really, is just material and ability to get me to draw more. Which, you know, that's a good thing to have in a deck in general. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Let's bring out the Leo Utopia Ray. I have not used them all too much since he's really been released, but... Oh. Activating his effect... I get to add a card to the top of the deck that has ZWZS in a name. Cool. And I think I'm going to put the Lightning Blade on the top. Nice. And then Change Tactics allows me to draw right into it. Oh, nice. Then I activate his effect by discarding one overlay unit. Yep. I can attach one ZW weapon from anywhere, including the extra deck. <laughs> oh, fun. And then he gets his extra effect. I can target when he's equipped with a ZW weapon. I can target one monster in the field and negate their effects. Good stuff. I think if I target that, I think you lose the Dark Magician name. Oh, did you do? Yeah, I guess so. So that. Oh yeah, so I don't have the attack anymore, right? And I don't think you can activate your Magician's combination anymore because you don't have Dark Magician. Yeah, anymore. I already kind of decided not to activate it though. All right. Uh, I'm going to actually hold what I have right now. Okay. Because I'm not going to be able to kill you by any means this turn because none of my stuff does piercing. Fair so, enough. Um, I'm going to get rid of your Magician of Dark Illusion before Alrighty. he gets back, back and becomes Dark Magician. <laughs> yeah. Looks like if I get a draw, I can definitely utilize that. Alrighty. Right. And with that, I'll end the turn. Alright. I'm just going to flip this up. But I don't know if I can do anything with it. Well, you're going to have to bank on your next draw, huh? Yep. So let's thin the deck by oh, one. That would, that would absolutely... Yeah, it would be beautiful if I get a Dark Magician on the field. I would hate that so much mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> uh, ooh, we got the Soul Servant, but we don't have anyone to really get much out of it. Um, I can... Have, uh, draw that extra card? Yes. Basically, the uh, pot agreed for your deck, right? Yeah, but I need to have Dark Magicians and, you know, Mahad and all kinds of other things in the graveyard for it to be usable. Um, so, we can at least get a plus one out of it if we do this dumb move. So, let's do this dumb move. And uh, normal summon, Dark Magician Girl. Great. Alright. And... What? Yeah, so that can get that. I can guarantee myself a Dark Magician... Or I could circle. In my current position now, a Dark Magician is kind of great. Might as well just activate this real quick. Number All one. Right. Just a little extra layer of protection. Cool. Uh, do you have any um, effects known to me that would negate a monster effect on the field? No, I believe uh, his effect of targeting a monster when it's on the field, I believe that only activates when he... Uh, touches the field. Mm -hmm. The effect that it's currently keep asking me to activate is the one that allows me to equip another ZW weapon to his to him. Yes. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm just gonna I was gonna put a Dark Magician on top. Well first I was thinking of doing Magician's Rod, but then I remembered I normal summon to get Dark Magician Girl on the field. Oh. <laughs> and that would have been so dumb. Um but we're just going to get ourselves illusion magic. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna pretty much sacrifice that Dark Magician girl to uh, get my hands on some magicians. Boop. There we go. And Luckily, then... I can't vanish right now. No, I cannot. And your magician. Salvation goes off, so she gets to come back. Okay. Not that I really want her back. Play the dark magic attack. That stinks for me. And now what do I do? Hmm. They're equal in attack points, but I think you win this whole exchange if you do it. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize his attack dropped that high. Yeah, absolutely. I should have stayed quiet. I would have probably fought. I mean, it just means I'm gonna do it faster than otherwise. And yeah, we chill right there. Okay. You still have plenty to work with in your hand, though. But now I have the Dark Magician stuff finally rolling a little bit. You would think that with a five-card hand, I oh, would. Oh, no. <laughs> you forget two of them are the ZW weapons I added in. Mm -hmm. um, and the rest are random draws from the tactics. And two of them are rank-up spells, and one of them was the useless 
shining draw I was just talking about that I Wonderful. needed during my draw phase. Alright. End phase. Oh dear. I'm going to hurt. Either die or be seriously hurt. Oh gosh. I think I'm going to die, aren't I? I think so. Um, or we're going to activate uh, Tamayas here and get the Dark Magician out of the way. Um, or... Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Cool. Now comes Tamias. Neat. Activate. And with that, we can summon the Dark Magicians using... Oh, yeah, that has to be from hand. Oh, well. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because that one doesn't actually use the dragon for it. Not the best use of uh, Tamias, but... A reasonable use and still a win nonetheless. Alright, I gotta draw one because of that, and I get some Dark Magician Girl because of that, and I get to negate myself because of that, but I won't. Cool. That automatically goes on the field, might as well activate it. It's piercing the darkness, hi. And then we go to smash everything in the our path. So, Tamias, go ahead. Get a yeah, get rampage. Does that dragon have a six pack, by the way? Um, yes, but it's six. It's I guess it's more of eight, but it's his pecs, not his abs. So <laughs> why did they give dragon? It might be a lady dragon, and that might be how it feeds its children. I don't know. All right, this time I'm gonna go second so I can have the offense on Very that well. one. Very well, I'll take first. With Dark Magician. <sighs> we just talked about you, Mahad. <laughs> Fair, oh well, <laughs> so be it. Um, We got some great spell cards to start off with. Now, at the moment we don't have any play to do, but if we get the right draw off, then we'll be pretty well set. You know, if we didn't draw Mahad, I'm saying because um, we got opening salvation nothing wrong with that you know yeah, you, you can just search it with the magician's rod it. which i didn't get but that's cool we got yeah. a piercing the darkness which if i start rolling that's going to be a great card and now the one that really matters right now dark magic circle um i need to get some sort of thing such as any oh no all those don't count all right fine and so there's nothing I can do with this, so I will not use it. I love the card on top of my deck right now. I will end my turn. And you have nothing to fear. OTK me, Mario. Um, yeah, I can flip up a turn, uh, eternal soul. Okay, I'm going to flip up eternal soul. Just so it doesn't annoy me. <laughs> no, I shuffled my deck. Oh, well. Special summon, since I control no monsters, my ZS Ascended Sage. I love how a lot of cards nowadays are just coming out with if you can control no monsters as a basic way of starting yeah, off. Yeah, a lot of just easy special summon mechanics. The classic Cyber Dragons. Yeah, the classic Cyber Dragon effect. Mm -hmm. I like it. And then uh, using that effect, I get to bring out Sacred Crane. And you already know what Sacred Crane does. allows me to get that extra draw yep. off. Man, this one might be yours. If I hadn't... Uh... Shuffled my deck there, I'd be in better shape, but... Was I that going to be a Dark Magician? Hmm? Was that going to be It was Magician's dark... Rod. So it's whatever I want. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Which would have most likely been get Magician's Rod, um, do the same thing, get myself two Dark Magicians, summon, banish, repeat. Uh, right now, I... Synchro, I mean, not synchro, freaking. Wow. XYZ, XYZ them together to bring out a utopia. Good stuff. Then, I activate the effect of utopic astral hope. Beautiful. Since I control a, an XYZ monster, I can do that. And you already know his effect. Mm -hmm. Then the card to the grave. I will send my deck card to the grave. So that I can add, oh, I don't know, my change tactics to my <laughs> Yep. Only one XE wasted. But you have more to come. Many more, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Because now I overlay these two. Get another mm -hmm. Utopia out. And I get the draw get the drawing effect off. Not only that, I get that a card off. Which allows me to add another 
rank up and spell. Ooh, I wonder which one I'm gonna get. <laughs> Alright, keep it going. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next! This allows me to give out my ray. Yep. Ray allows me to draw an extra card. Yep. Okay. I could go into lightning. But I think lightning only gains the five to get to five thousand if it's battling a monster. I think you're one. right. Um, but either way, I don't die. So. Mhm. Mm so I'm gonna activate my rank up, rank up, hyper rank up magic. Actually. Mhm. Mm I hate the oh. names of rank up cards. <laughs> you really do, don't you? Hyper rank up magic hope force. <laughs> They're all like just random assortments of words like that. Ooh, Dragner. Yeah. The big, the new big boss monster of the deck. Yeah. Let's see. I detach two materials from this card. To special summon one number monster that has a number between one and one hundred in its name from the extra deck. Mm -hmm. I hate that wording too. <laughs> between one and one hundred, so the number monsters. Gotcha. Well, it's because there's some, because remember there are some other monsters like. Yeah, like, there's some uh, that are like adjacent to it. So. Yeah, like number one hundred one. Uh, True. Oh, special. Honor, honor, arc. All right. Like those guys. Because those guys are considered fake numbers and all that. Okay. Uh, okay, let me see. Who do I bring out? I think... No. Okay. I'm going to bring out the... Just for power's sake, the ultimate Dragonic Utopia Array. Okay, I think you win with these numbers too. If they can all attack. Yeah, they can all attack. You need to go then. Oh, whew. and a boost. Yep. Then, rank up magic Zexo Force on my Utopia Ray to bring out. You know what? We never see this guy anymore. Utopia Ray V, which <laughs> might be take getting taken out of the deck because he's almost useless right now. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, let's just add the twin saber and then change tactics while we draw it. I mean, you gotta anything, love how it's just more to go through with change tactics. Yeah, don't worry, that's the end of that though. Yep, oh yeah, you easily clear the life points now. And then just the field spell. Good stuff. <laughs> just, just a little extra. Very nice. That's 12,600 on the field. And that's because I had or two... Uh, I was, that, and that was because I was able to bring out two uh, Utopias. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no. Is Dragner? <gasps> oh, yeah, he's the only one who can attack when he's doing stuff, right? I think so. I think I forgot about that. Yeah! Top deck. We Here we go. <laughs> yeah, he's the only one who can attack directly. At least you powered him up big time. Yeah. And, he, <laughs> nah. and he's protected against your circle as well from being targeted. Yep, I got nothing. <laughs> really? You got nothing? Yeah, we have a soul servant. We can put whatever we want on the top of the deck. But it means nothing. We had this on the top of the deck, but just for sake of, uh, you know, making our audience not wait for me to keep clicking no, I, I just flipped up Eternal Soul and ruined everything. Oh well. Still would have been an uphill battle against this field, though. Can't yeah, mind. that was because I that was because I was able able to get two uh, mm -hmm. Utopias on turn one. Yeah. If not, I probably would have only ended up with like a weaker Dragoner. Yep. Although I am staring at Dark Magic Attack, which would have been funny. Right. Yeah, that would have been hilarious, wouldn't it? Do I go not turn two Dark Magician against you? Yeah, why not? What are you gonna do on turn one? Set up a defensive monster, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> And just wait for me to banish you on turn four. Zex field. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> so we opened up with Mahad again. Mahad. <laughs> Look, I don't think Mahad belongs in a uh, perfect Dark Magician deck. But I really like being able to just draw so many cards with Soul I, Servant. I love Mahad for the sake of reason that 
during when we were doing i forgot if we were doing some kind of tournament or something i was just using your dark magician deck and then i kept perfectly getting mahad's full effect and you were getting upset because he never did that for you he's a jerk that's why <laughs> all right um so we actually have a pretty rough hand yet again um so we're go we're just gonna go gamble dark magic circle and even if we get exactly what we want it's still not enough um, what I want to get is, well, good enough. <coughs> Excuse me. But we'll uh, select that and that. And then we'll set this. And the turn. That's all we got. Okay. So, that activates allowing me to search out the shine, put the shining draw on the top of the deck, which during the draw phase, I get to draw it and activate it. Okay. Very good. Reveal it and keep it revealed into the main phase. During a main phase, you cannot tar you can target one. Ah, uh, what up? I forgot about that. Ooh, you can only act. It will only work if, and only if. Mhm. Mm you had a utopia to equip it to. Oh. Right now. I should have waited on that. I was just happy to finally use Shining Draw. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, Exacto Catapult, which allows me to special summon a ZW or ZS card for free. Sure, sure. Fortunately, he is level 5. Ugh. Hmm. He's just going to be out there for defense sake. At least he's got good defense on him. All right, well, the other top card in the deck is the Dark Magician, so we are all good to go. Um, Eternal Soul. And let's play. We do that. Hmm. Oh, it might have been because I didn't have the things checked. Do you have anything protecting you from uh, getting Dark Magic circled? Or no? Nope. Yeah, okay. Guess it was just because that was checked. No biggie. We can then... Uh, let's just dark magic attack. Getting two away is still good. Even though you have a lot of stuff it's good against. And then, field or graveyard. I have magicalized fusion, but man, I am not banishing my dark magician right now. Um, just so it's not a dead card, we are going to normal summon Oracle Mahad. Uh, or, I think we attack and then normal summon Mahad. That sounds like a better option. Because we know I can just get my Dark Magician back from Graveyard, and I want him in my Graveyard during your turn anyway. So, battle. We will attack, and just put 1600 on you. Ooh, piercing the darkness, ooh. So, little damage, but we have a medium Dark Magician set up right now. And, yeah. Can't be too upset at that. Normal summon, get my hat on the field, get Dark Magician off the field, more importantly. And with every intention to um, summon Dark Magician next turn, banish something, and then when the operation arises, switch him out again for Magician's Rod in hand. I forget, does Mahar count as a Dark Magician? Or... No, 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 no. You know. Normally, I love to see you change tactics right now, but I could have used a... Oh, dumb. man. Okay, so I can target one card in the field to destroy it. Let's get rid of that eternal soul. Lovely. Um, yeah, no, nothing to do here. Well done. Uh, Mahad, uh, well, he's someone on the field. It's not like I can time it without that on the field anyway. I would have loved that forced the activation of your dark magic circle and you had to target a card and banish it. We get rid of Dark Magician for Rod. That's worth. Yeah. I am not placing anything just as defensive or just to place something down because I know you're my dark magic circle it so. Yeah. All I need to do is get something which I can get with Rod. Doesn't mean I can do it this turn, but it's a pretty good setup. You have 6,000. 400. I can put on the field about 3,000 if I do a uh, fusion burning up all my material in graveyard. I don't like that option because that still doesn't get me the kill. Unless I go 3, 
three, six. Okay, I think I can just sneak a kill by burning up all my material. But just in case, we're gonna use this. See if we get anything. And we get ourselves Soul Servant. That's a draw one, I suppose. So I can get us some potential plays. But yeah, let's play Weird and Desperately by uh, using Magicalized Fusion right here. We can get the Dark Magicians by banishing Mahad and a Dark Magician. Never like to banish a Dark Magician, but, you know, we don't mind banishing Mahad. Does mean I won't get as much out of my Soul Servants. Should have used Soul Servants first. But we do have this, which is lovely. And with that, we can get a whole w bunch of wonderful cards. Um, in this case, we are 100% going to get Salvation. Salvation can get me another Eternal Soul. Great. Go then. Set that Eternal Soul. But we are looking on the field at 34 or 4,400 attack. So if I can manage to scrounge exactly 2,000 more onto the field, we should be able to get the victory. I send Magic Rebo to the graveyard to put exactly 2,000 onto the field. And yeah, that looks good to me. Battle. Here's where we learn I'm bad at math and I'm wrong. But unfortunately for Mario, I'm not bad at math and I'm not wrong. Uh, you're off by two. Yeah, sorry. It's not the uh, traditional Dark Magician win, but we'll just hit you with a bunch of monsters that equal the amount of life points you had. <laughs> we'll take it. And there we go. Yugi's on top. Woo! You drew bad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say I didn't draw bad, especially that second round. But yeah, yeah. unfortunately, this did go, come down to draws for pretty much all the duels a little bit. Yeah, Utopia will always be a very strong deck. The mm -hmm. only issue is, just like every, almost every other deck, it is susceptible to if you draw nothing but the support cards, but nothing to start it with. Yep. You are screwed. <laughs> As we saw, same with Dark Magician. Fortunately, uh, Dark Magician is beloved and gets thousands of support cards, which let you search everything you need eventually. So, I got that going for me. Nice. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you want to see two other um, characters go head to head, especially, you know, with some nice souped up decks like these ones, then let us know in the comments down below and leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe so you don't miss that video when it comes and we will see you next time. See you folks.